Olivia, repeat after me. Let's do it. I, Olivia. I, Olivia. Give you, Greg. Give you, Rachel. I, I mean, Greg. <laughs> 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 Sorry, wouldn't it be funny if I did that? <laughs> Citizens of the Reject Nation, we're going to call this segment Movies You Can't Watch Without Your Wife or Else She'll Get Mad at You. Any couple who's been in a long-term relationship can relate. Hey, Olivia, Mrs. Alba. Oh, God, I was hoping you wouldn't do that. <laughs> we would call you Vice President. No, my bad. First Lady <laughs> Vice President. <laughs> I'm learning what Correct. political you hierarchies have are. something all in your beard. It right? happens, man. Yeah, Jeez. You complain when John doesn't point it out. He's yeah. telling you, you've got something all in your beard. Anyway, guys, we're going to watch The Little Mermaid today. <laughs> we love the original one. Before we go into any of that, something that we did want to talk about, uh, Olivia and I, we have four cats ourselves, but within the past month, we have been fostering five additional cats because we're insane. These five cats that we've been fostering, won't go into any details, but uh, long story short, they came from a, a really, really bad, you know, domestically violent home. When taking care of them, we got them properly bathed, right ones we got, you know, spayed and neutered, even been potty trained lately. They're great. Uh, just really, really love them. Just right now though, you know, for these five cats, we got a, you know, Siamese ones, Dash and Asher, Aspen, Wren, and Mama, who looks like the baby, but she's really Mama. And what's her actual name again? I could call her Mama this whole time. Lorelai. <laughs> Lorelai. <laughs> really, really do love them. And right now, we have been actively looking for people to adopt them. Um, if you can't adopt all, at least adopt like one or two of them. So there's a link in the description box and pinned comment for the rescue site. You would have to go through the rescue site in order to adopt them. As much as we love them, just with the space that we have, we know that they deserve a better home right now, a place where they can be properly cared for and loved. If you are interested or know someone who's interested, please ask it sincerely if you can spread the word and uh, help help these guys find a home because they absolutely deserve it. And they are lovely, truly lovely animals. And we're going to miss them. But uh, anyway, I'm going to segue us now to the video at hand. Leave a like on this video if you're excited for Little Mermaid. I've heard good and bad things, but we are gonna form our own opinion and anyone who knows my wife, she is known to be the most brutally honest person in the world. And by the way, she has been vastly instrumental behind the scenes. If ask anyone who comes on this channel, John especially would know, she has helped out behind the scenes numerous times and plain and simple, she does not get enough credit. And I don't know whose fault that is, but they deserve to be punished. <sighs> yeah, this dumb Coy. truck has a lot to do behind the scenes. <laughs> Also, full-length reaction watch along, of course, where you sync up with your own copy of Little Mermaid if you already have one available for our Super Sexy Rejects at our Patreon page. Thank you to all who have joined and shown your support. But if you have to make a decision between helping the cats or joining the Patreon, help the cats. Please. Uh, let's watch this movie, people. That's a gorgeous opening shot. I feel like we're about to hear Neil deGrasse Tyson narrating this. <laughs> Or that one from the BBC, old British guy. But a mermaid has no tears, and therefore she suffers so much more. I know a lot of Hans Christian Andersen's work. Say, it sounds like she probably <laughs> suffered. <laughs> Is that the original author? Yeah. Oh. Oh my god. What a horrible opening. What the hell? <laughs> Interesting. So they're all just, do they know they're hunting a mermaid right now? I think they're thinking, it's like those deep sea tales that fishermen and pirates tell each other. What are you doing? It's a mermaid. A mermaid? Use your eyes. What were you thinking? Oh, that poor dolphin. Do not hurt that dolphin. They say this is when the sea king calls his mermaid daughters together to lure men to their death. See. Is that what they say? Deep sea tail. What are you doing up there? Oh, that's Prince Eric. Yeah, you <laughs> I didn't know. know that was him. I know, it's not Harry Styles, so how are we supposed to know? We're going home tonight. Pay attention. I need you to be more careful. Grimsby. Oh, here we go. Show me what I'm here for. Show me the things I know. <laughs> 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 
Look at these realistic fish that these overpaid VFX artists. I was going to say, <laughs> clearly it's not real, but okay. We know that Disney screws over their VFX artists. That yeah, looks pretty good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> better than The Flash. Hey, everything is better than The Flash these days. My man Trident. He's got a cape of fish. My daughters of the seven seas, I welcome news from all of your waters. Oh, he looks pretty good. Tamika, Perla. And Gaspia, Indira. They're clearly not all from the same mom. <laughs> Is that Jessica Chastain? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Mala, Karina. Where's Ariel? Where is Ariel? Ariel. Told you! Sebastian says Ariel. I told you! Sebastian. I reminded her about the gathering just this morning. What more can one crustacean do? Don't laugh. <laughs> he's cute. I like him. Yeah, he's adorable, yeah. We aren't supposed to be this far from the palace, Ariel. Let's go back. Oh. oh. Mm -hmm. This is a little unsettling. I think we've gone far enough. Look at the details on her skin. They even have like little scales. No, that's cool. I've never seen that one. Come on. Ariel! Wait for me! You know I can't swim that fast! Yeah, he's small. I know. He's a little he, small boy. He was fat as hell in the he freaking really, cartoon. He was. <laughs> a little chunky <laughs> flounder. He must have used the ship for battles or something. Yeah, let's get out of here. Getting cold fins? No way! And you can stay out here and watch the sharks. Alright. What? I mean, he is still cute. I, he's I still gotta cute. say, he's very cute. He's cute. He was very adorable. When she did a little boo boo on him, yeah. I was like, adorable. Very cool to have I, a talking fish. I pet. want to boop a fish. <laughs> it's the smallest trident I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm King Flounder, Lord of the Seven Seas. <laughs> it is very adorable. <laughs> so cute. Will you relax? It's just your reflection. <sighs> That is great because animals can't tell their oh, reflections. No. <gasps> no. Fish are friends, not food. I know. Bruce! No, Bruce, don't do it. Would sharks be afraid of mermaids? I don't know. But this happened in the cartoon, so. I, I know it did, it's but I'm happen. like, considering her father is like king of the ocean. Hide, hide, baby flounder, hide. Yes. Leave that shark there to die. That's cool, too. The sharks can't talk in this world for some reason, <laughs> so it's just going to die down there. <laughs> I've seen bigger sharks. Just, you got to show them who's in. <laughs> the just scuttle's out. creepy. How you doing? Don't mind me. I was just grabbing a snack. That's right, they got Aquafina yeah, in the place. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, it's, I it's... forgot. Any idea what this is? Oh, 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 oh! It's a dingle hopper. <laughs> it's still funny. Humans <laughs> use these babies to style Bye. their hair. <laughs> <laughs> Your father still won't let you go to the surface, huh? No, it's forbidden. He thinks all humans are barbarians. They are. I mean, he's on rock. <laughs> The gathering of King Triton's daughters, minus one. My father's gonna kill me. Yeah. Sorry, Scuttle, gotta go. Yeah, yeah. All right, sweetie. I think the Sebastian is Lafayette from uh, Hamilton. David Dix. Oh. I think so. I don't know. What a shame. It seems that Big Brother forgot to invite Auntie Ursula to the party again. Oh, oh, oh this is gonna be a lot sadder in live action, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> And now, look at me, family pariah. Banished and exiled, driven halfway to madness. All right, Melissa McCarthy, you're doing, you're doing pretty good. I may have finally found daddy's weakness. An ethnicity of a woman he hasn't been with yet. <laughs> Just like your mother. I am her daughter. Yes, foolish enough to be taken with a human world. If you would just try to understand. Well, I try to understand you long enough, but as long as you live in my ocean, you'll obey my rules. Ooh, oh man. 
We've all had those talks. That authoritative quality. I'd listen to you. Oh, yeah, I would. My aerial needs constant supervision. All the time, day and night. And you're just the crab to do it. I am just the crab to... No, wait, that's not what? Go. Yes, your majesty. A lot of things definitely move better in the actual film than in the trailer. Like, Sebastian really just creeped me out in the trailer. But he, really? he, looks, he looks really great here, yeah. I appreciate that they actually make them a little animated. Yeah. That's like a good blend between, this is what it looks like in real life, but it's also animated. Real life crabs are cute, though, too. They are. Yeah, we're about to get our first song. It's coming up here soon. Let's do it. Are you okay? He doesn't even hear me. I'm just not like him. I don't see things the way he does. Ah, you're just as stubborn in some ways. This is what I'm here for. There's, let's go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? You bet. Wouldn't you think my collection? Never. Complete? It's never complete. <laughs> Wouldn't you think I'm the girl, the girl who has everything? You are the king's daughter, so yes. Trove, treasure, sun told. How many wonders can one cavern hold? You could fit more in there. Show her. She's got everything. I've got gadgets and gizmos a plenty. I've got who's it's and what's it's galore. Her voice is incredible. Yeah, that was phenomenal. <laughs> I want more. Whoa, nipple chills, man. <laughs> I wanna see, wanna see them dancing. Walking around on those. What do you call them? Oh, fear. <laughs> fear, <laughs> gross. Disgusting. The sun wandering free. Wish I could be part of that world. God, the pipes on her. Love to explore. I know. There's so much emotion behind this. Damn. Brilliant. That's phenomenal, man. That was amazing. Tear it up a little bit there. <laughs> a little misty too. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Because she's not just hitting like the notes, like she's really capturing the actual emotion underneath the, emotion the lyrics. Of, like, yeah. yeah. That desperate wanting. Oh, no, no, no. What does she think she's doing? The surface. Aww. She's just at the Disneyland show. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey Mouse is on that, though. Yeah. Ariel. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, how'd she get up there? Upper body strength. Apparently, Jesus, she does upper body day every yeah. day. She's got water weights under there. <laughs> it's time you separated yourself from the rest of the crew. These peasants! <laughs> in a manner more becoming of a future king. You mean be more like my father was, cut off from the rest of the world. I relate with this guy. <laughs> 21 years ago, the king and queen took you in and treated you as one of their own. So he's not an actual heir? Is that yeah. what's happening here? I want to be a different kind of leader. That's the whole reason we're on this voyage, don't you see? We have to stay open to what's out here. That's the only way our island can grow. I want to make England great again. How do they not see her shiny fins? How is she not flopping around like a fish does when they're out of water for a while? Storm coming in fast. Damn, that hit quick, didn't it? I do like how they have enhanced the grittiness, I guess, of the sailor life. <laughs> Feels like Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> I think it works really well live action wise, yeah. actually. Yeah. I would have completely panicked and given up at this point. <laughs> yeah. We're dead. That guy's dead. Oh no, we need water. <laughs> I am a sucker for something that feels like it's on a soundstage. I do like it, the vibe of that. <gasps> the dog! Oh, 
I too would fall in love the second I saw someone stop to save a dog. <laughs> Me too. in the movie. <laughs> uh, did he get knocked out? Is that what happened? When his head bashed against the... the I want wood? this movie to subvert expectations. She should embalm him. Oh, uh, my God. The dark <laughs> little the mermaid. Of, keep part of the treasure chest. <laughs> <laughs> Is a little mummy walking around? <laughs> Well, they look good together. They do. <laughs> She's more like her dad than she realizes. That's the whole point of the movie. I'm talking about the interracial love. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Get off me, you fool. Oh, hey. Didn't expect to find you here. The king can never hear it is. Why would she talk to the king? We are going to forget this ever happened. Are you listening to me? Yes. Uh. <laughs> what? That was funny. <laughs> what would I do to see you smiling at me? I can't get over your interracial love joke. <laughs> <laughs> your Why do they have torches? It's not dark out. Nah, uh, maybe they were searching through the night. He's alive! Alas, the queen! I got my eyes on you. You would just want to turn everything into like a horror movie. <laughs> <laughs> Some oh. creepy subtext happening. I don't know how, but I know something starting right now. You mean to tell me this isn't a bit of a horror movie? <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Beautiful. No, it's too easy. She's already in love with the human world, and now she found her soulmate. <laughs> Finally, get to rip the power away from Triton that should have been mine all along. Why should it have been hers? Looks a little bit like cosplay. I think she's doing a great job, but I feel like her it's makeup. It's an animated. Did you see Ursula in the film? Yeah, yeah but no one else looks like cosplay, but she kind of looks a little bit like. I think she's doing a great performance. She had like super heavy makeup in the film, in the animated film. I agree. I can still feel it could be both. <laughs> no, you're wrong, and I'm right. That's what, that's what you sign up for. Oh, yeah, tie the knot. <laughs> You have to let go of this obsession with humans. I'm not obsessed. I may be crusty, but I'm not blind. I may be crusty. Sebastian, if you had just seen it up there, the ship rode on the wind, and they filled the sky with fire. Okay, okay, listen to me. Yeah. The human <gasps> is a mess. <laughs> Better than anything they got going on up there. Yep. Let's hear this. Sweet is always greener in somebody else's lake. You oh, shame about going up there. But that is a big, big mistake. mistake. <laughs> right here on the ocean floor. Uh -huh. Such wonderful things surround you. What more is you looking for? Under the sea. While we devoting full time to floating under the sea. Bum, 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 ba, 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 bum, bum. One day when the boss get hungry, guess who gonna be on the, the plate? Oh, no, under the sea. Oh, how beautiful. Oh, that's cool. Nobody beat us, fry us, and eat us. Oh! See? Hey, Yes, yes, it's like this sweet here. We got the beat here naturally. So they can touch the jellyfish. I feel like this is the first time I'm really paying attention to the lyrics. <laughs> I know. I, I didn't realize they say fry us and beat us. That's why I was like, whoa. Like, I've sung along with this, but I don't think I caught the context. I know. <laughs> they know where he's at. Oh, so cute. That's more like the size of flounder. Oh, look how cute. Look at them. <laughs> like little flubbers. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's really cool. Do you think her holding on to them like that is hurting them, though? Yeah, that's what I was wondering earlier. Uh. 
We got to see and bam jack each little clam here know how to jam here under the sea. Very beautiful. They all gather to teach Ariel a lesson. I was gonna say <laughs> they've been missing for a lot of this movie, but suddenly we looked, sire. But there was no girl. She was real. She saved my life. Have you checked the neighboring islands? Not all of them. Then I will. No, you will oh. not. I hope there's a line in there like, you remind me of my mother. Only you say that. <laughs> <laughs> Only during our vows. <laughs> <laughs> Shipwrecks. Hurricanes. The sea gods are against us. How many times do I have to... Oh, he was adopted. I forgot. Yeah. May I remind you that a deadly shipwreck first brought you to us, and now I almost lost you to one the other day. Uh, shipwreck brings you a baby, brings you love. So they all in this film like are under this heavy belief that there are gods under the ocean. It's okay, Eric. I wonder if they give him a, a, a song. He's not Harry Styles, so I doubt it. I'm waiting for the new song. I think if Harry Styles had took a... Wanted was the open <laughs> sea and sky. Let's hear this. <laughs> Now all I am is haunted as days and hours roll by. All I ever think about is you. Uh -huh. In these wild, uncharted waters, come find me. You deep, Eric. You deep. A siren that guides me to wild, A siren. Waters. Alone, just you. This guy has been singing <laughs> since we were at shore. No, <laughs> shut. God. Jeez, we've been sailing for hours. <laughs> Damn. These two have an ex extremely passionate love for each other. I know. <laughs> Wasn't she blurry when he saw her? So he doesn't really know what she looks like. That's the whole point of. But the, the why melody what is, later. is stuck in his head. I know, but he mentioned her eyes. He saw a little bit of her eyes. What color are my eyes, Gray? They're uh, some type of uh, green, brownish, blue thing. <laughs> it will take thousands of years for this coral to grow back. And they've killed nearly all of the sea fern. They're not all like that. We've never even seen one. You were just a child when mother died and father stopped them. They all have the same mother. They all have the same mother. I don't understand how the reproduction of the children work. <laughs> Have you noticed that Ariel has been acting peculiar lately? I know you've been keeping something from me. Keeping something? Oh. He's my little one in love. <laughs> oh, I tried to stop her, sir. I tried to stop her from going to the service. I told her to stay away from humans when you. I that Oh, no. Sebastian. He got scared. He was scared. He went to the above world. There was a shipwreck. A man was drowning. I had to save him. You should have let him drown. You're savages. Savages, savages. Believe it, human. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Eric had nothing to do with it. Eric? You know his name? You would have just heard him, Father. He's compassionate and kind. He's a and... human. You're a mermaid. Yes, but that doesn't make us enemies. Promise me you will never look for him again. Damn. These are like real ass performances. These ends now. Oh man, you really feel the emotion much more in live action than in it. Never leave again. I feel like in the animated, that scene was more impactful for some reason. Her reaction, like the facial expressions, is yeah. like this is way more because of the tangibility because it's real life. Yeah. Oh. I mean, the one part as a viewer that I'm having a hard time working past is I'm, I was more used to Trident being like someone I, I was like, he's scary and he's not really scary here. He seems more father like here. Yeah, today. yeah. He's more compassionate and yeah. he's a little softer. Yeah. My mind's just readjusting. You must not remember me. I'm your Auntie Ursula. The sea witch? The what? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm only here to help. I don't need your help. Whatever you say, darling. Wait. Yes. <laughs> Be careful. Whoa. There's like prehistoric stuff happening here. Seem at all like father described you. He always got what he wanted. And what did I get? Nothing. Zip. Nada. Oh, I know what you're going through. Believe me. I know why you're here. I really, really like her. Yeah, she's doing great. <laughs> 
you're so young. Don't you see? You're meant for each other. Like our parents, you suffer like this. <laughs> <laughs> Love the theatrical tortured performance yeah. she's doing. She's doing great. You can't live in that world unless you become a human yourself. <laughs> she did the whole performance. Is that even possible? It's what I do. It's what I live for. It's what I live for. I admit that in the past I've been a nasty. <laughs> I've mended all my ways, repented, seen the light, and made a switch. True. Yes. Unfortunately, She's... no a little magic. <laughs> little magic. And here lately, please don't laugh. I use it on behalf of the miserable, lonely, and depressed. depressed. Pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> this one longing to be thinner. That one wants to get the girl. And do I help him? Yes, indeed. <laughs> I was not expecting her to be this good. I wasn't either. Yeah. I'll whip up a little potion to make you human for three days. I would sleep all three of those <laughs> Before the sun sets on the third day, you and Princey must share a kiss. You will remain human permanently. But if you don't, you'll turn back into a mermaid. Give up the whole sea life. Give up your mermaid gifts. You won't have this tail of yours hanging around dragging you down. You won't be able to breathe underwater. Who needs it? <laughs> I really think she's one of the best performances so far. You no longer have that siren song of yours. So it is like a siren. I'll keep it safe and soundless here with me. We got a deal? I don't know. I mean, I'll just give you the premium package, kid. <laughs> I mean, they're they're both like really great in this I movie. Know. Go back home to daddy and never leave again. Come on, you unfortunate Damn, that is visually stunning. It won't cost much. Just your voice. So I am. And your soul. <laughs> <laughs> this poor unfortunate. <laughs> Cool. Love to me. Now sing. This scene terrified me when I was a kid. This is pretty terrifying. Oh, yeah. I don't know how she's like, ah, talks normal. <laughs> I was gonna say she just that's, drowns and dies. That's cruel. <laughs> it's interesting that she knew to use her feet. Well, isn't it the same way a uh, tail works? I guess. I Tail's like this. <laughs> well, you still have to kind of like feed her that. <laughs> well, it's still the same motion, essentially, <laughs> right? Let me go ask the mermaid. I know. <laughs> she doesn't stand a chance. Without this, a mermaid without a voice. You know what they cut out? The alt right um, <laughs> fear monger. <laughs> Body language part. <laughs> when she's like, How could I get him? <sighs> when they're like, You have your looks, your pretty face. Mm. They cut that out. She won't remember she needs to get. I don't know why. Kids. I like that now part. It's just a matter of time. And she's mine. I feel like Melissa McCarthy, like, there's something in her performance with her eyes where she, she's not overly animated here. Mm -hmm. That makes, like, she keeps it really cold here. <laughs> she has, like, a perfect pitch for the performance. No, not Melissa. It's a naked girl. You all right? I'll go find something to cover you up. Ooh, I don't need, I don't need close up on feet here, okay? I'll take you to the castle. They'll know what to do with you there. Come on. In you go. <gasps> He's gonna get cooked. Oh yeah. The chef scene. Where they cut him up. That weird oh. little chef with a little thin mustache. This feels different. We're really seeing like the Caribbean fisherman life. Climb for the first time. Jump for the first time. Trying to stand with this gravity's pulling me down. <laughs> 
I don't know how I feel about having this song. Kind of loses the effect that she's supposed to feel like she doesn't have a voice. <laughs> She'll survive, but she's been through it though. Won't say a word. I wonder what happened to her with the air. Look, it's a fire, it's warm, and it glows, and it lights this chamber. I actually like it because I feel like this is how she would behave. These are things she's all wanted to see. But I think we could have done it without a song. Then how will we know what she's thinking? <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> Poor girl, you must be starving. Rosa, get this poor child some food. Everyone's so sympathetic to her odd behaviors. I know. Oh, adorable. <laughs> Two shipwrecks in one week. Prince Eric's still looking for that girl who saved him. That's the right day. I'll get the prince. See? They put it together because she's singing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in her mind. <laughs> I'm so sorry to hear what happened. What's your name? She doesn't speak, sire. Get rid of her. The woman I loved sings! <laughs> <laughs> Trash! Well, we're glad you made it to us. See? Do you have a place to stay? You, you saw her whole outline, right? Well, then you're welcome to stay here. Make sure she has anything she needs. Yes, your highness. Man, Ariel, you could have swam to a very different shore. Things could have turned out very different for you. <laughs> we should let you get some rest. I guess the song works on the sense of the gut punch of the buildup. She's like, oh, he's going to know it's me. Yeah. And, oh, God. All right. I'll try to help you. But we've got to be bold. Act quickly. Don't forget about the kiss. I, no, no, not me, the prince. <laughs> Hello. Oh, no. She's put a spell on you. You can't remember, can you? <laughs> I mean, you saw her put a spell on her. <laughs> You are hopeless, child. Mood. You know yes, that? I knew it. That's all I would do. <laughs> so she's a princess under the sea. Gets a shot to be human to become a princess on life. <laughs> Just put that together. Flounder told me the whole story. Has Ariel killed the prince yet? <laughs> <laughs> Straight face. Where's Ariel now? What do you mean? She's right here. She moves so fast. Without him noticing. She's in his room, doesn't even know it. Wow, they really needed to find the actress who can yeah. who can sing, do dialogue, and be able to communicate just with her eyes, <laughs> like expressions so well. Nobody usually comes in here. My Little Mermaid. <gasps> so cute. He said the title of the movie. He he was like essentially <laughs> calling her his little mermaid. Adorable. I never believed all that lore about mermaids luring sailors to their deaths. No, really. I, I want you to have her. Nearly all of these things come from my voyages. You're both hoarders. <laughs> <It's> perfect. <laughs> you believe that such amazing things exist down there. No, wait! Oh, she knows even more. Oh, that's smart. That's smart. Mm -hmm. I don't remember if that's in the animated movie or not. Regardless, <laughs> that is smart. There's loads of them at this time of year. I had no idea you could do that. Oh, me. No. Oh. That's really clever. Is this the animated movie? I don't, I don't remember. Think so. How do I? Yeah, that's it. That's it, gal. <laughs> 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 I work on that. I love the people there. Oh, culture. they've been together for hours. It's so cute. Yeah, she's just been listening to him talk the whole time. <laughs> so funny. You're the perfect woman. <laughs> <laughs> you listen so well. Wow. <laughs> and then all of that is rainforest. I could show you around. All right, we'll go tomorrow. But, sire. Oh, Grimsby, good. May I have a quiet word, sire? Wyatt word. It's interesting how they've made Grimsby a bit of a grimmer. An, a, a, like he's <laughs> a he's a bit of not not an antagonist, but a, an obstacle yeah. or something like that. You know. We were going to send out all the carriages tomorrow, 
to look for the girl? Of course, yes. We must do that. What your mother said yesterday about you not leaving the castle until you're feeling Grimsby, better. I feel fine. He feels fine, Grimsby. We gotta do the sha la 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 la. I suppose we could spare one carriage. Huh, oh, never mind. It's just when I thought Grimsby was a bit of an this was movie. <laughs> you just cursed. Sorry. It's a curse word. <laughs> Are we not going to get a scene of the the cooking? Oh, you're the chef? right. I, I guess like not. We're running low on time for that. Young lady, would you like to try some? Oh, I think you'd be needing this. Hey, is that the original uh, Ariel? It is. is that the <laughs> uh, what's her name? Amy? Ashley? I don't know. <laughs> oh, look at Eric. Culturally acquainted with his people. You'll see the eyes of a screech owl up in the tree. Hey! Hey! <laughs> <gasps> -la 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 -la. My oh my. I think it's time for a little vocal romantic stimulation. Please, no. You got to be wild, check a wild, wild. Nah, man, we got to be sneaky about this. Using the power of suggestion. How are we going to do that? We got to blend in with the sounds of nature so she doesn't hear us. They really done flounder dirty. I know, he's a lot of character, really. Words. She don't got a lot to say, but there's something about her. How does he not feel a crab on her? Crab on me! <laughs> if the time is right, then the time is tonight. Go on and kiss the girl. Oh, la 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 la. Hey, it's Jungle la, Cruise, right? You and the kiss the girl. Catherine? No, definitely not Catherine. <laughs> Aries. Close. Aries. A Aries. Aries. <laughs> Did it like strumming a guitar? <laughs> that was clever. <laughs> I like that. That was really cute. That's a beautiful name written in the stars. Oh, they're so cute Aww. together. I love them. Ariel. Remember, she doesn't remember. She has to kiss him. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh. <laughs> Kiss the girl. Flotsam and Jetsam, you son of <laughs> Look at him slither away. It's not fair, Ursula. It's time Ursula took matters into her own sense of Oh, here we go. Where is it? Oh, yeah, I wonder what she's going to look like. No! 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 Oh! <laughs> That prince won't know what hit him. <laughs> That's the most Melissa McCarthy moment of this yeah, whole performance. <laughs> She's not in these waters. Then look again. Search all of the seven seas if you have to. Ariel wouldn't dare go above. Don't even think such a you thing. You have no idea. Why would she leave? Never mind that. Just find her. Uh, you guys don't need to know why. <laughs> Should we continue the search? I feel a, a, a little... If you want the advice of an old man, sire, don't be held back by what you think should be. Think only of what is. I'm still single, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I listen to you? <laughs> it's a dilemma, Eric. Do I hold out for that one person who I saw a blurry moment of? Or this one I've had a connection with all day with? It's hard choices, man. The scales. What if the other one's hotter? <laughs> <laughs> Oh. 
Whoa. <laughs> Damn. Melissa McCarthy, Damn. you really, you really did a lot for this role. <laughs> yeah. Who is that actress? I don't know. She's beautiful. That is a hard competition now, man. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! What? I know who hey, wrote the song. Have you not heard that scuttlebutt? <laughs> Your butt. No, then I came flying here for you to see and hear what I found. Oh my God! Is this Lin Manuel Miranda? It hundred percent. Yeah. That's <laughs> that what I said. That, the rhythm of this. <laughs> yeah. The second it started, I said, "Well, I know yeah. who wrote this." <laughs> He wants to, you know, when humans oh, just like their penguins, throw rice for the pigeons. They're trying to blow up the pigeons. <laughs> <laughs> really bad pigeons. You, you just listen, Sebastian. <laughs> Hurry up. The chatter all over the palace is that your princess? Is no, it's so like my wall. 100%. We got it. The gossip, the buzz. The who said what, who does that? Yeah, I told you so. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We gotta go before the sun go down. <laughs> oh, my. God. So we can't slow down the <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I think you and I feel very different about that. I, <laughs> I was like, not into that song. I thought it was fun. Quite the surprise, Eric. But I do owe her my life. This evening, you shall introduce your intended to the court. If it's really what you want, Eric. What I want. Oh. Mm. It's what we both want. Lovely. Indeed. Okay, so he is like enchanted yeah. under a spell right now. Yeah. The, the movie didn't make it clear if they were doing that. The voice also has like a siren hold on them. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. They did say that. Yeah. <laughs> The girl they cast doesn't look evil. I remember in the animated movie, she like. I know she had the she had that, like, seductive like, evil her. thing about her. Yeah. How do you cast a girl that looks evil? <laughs> Eva Green. I know a few. <laughs> what did I give to live where you are? Where do I go with no return to? It's like living in a reality show, Ariel. I'm sorry. Oh, I know. It was her, but but it wasn't in the mirror. Except she had what she had your voice. What are you talking about? Don't you get what I'm telling you? <laughs> she's she's funny. <laughs> sea witch in disguise. Yes, girl, go. Flounder, go tell the sea king what's happened. Oh, oh. No, when I give the signal, you drop me. Got it? Got it. No, you, you, you. Yes, Guess I'm on my own. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, Eric. It's beautiful. Has anybody seen the ring? Oh, have you seen the ring? Ha <laughs> ha! Yes, Grimsby! That's right. Kill her. Peck her face. I feel like they rushed to this. I mean, yeah, I think we're trying to get to the climax here. <laughs> what, do you want to see more of a girl fight? <laughs> no, I just be like a total. It's like, like a little fast through it. <laughs> oh, I am Ariel. Yeah. Ariel, it was you all along. I should have known. I don't know what came over me. She bewitched you. Get away from her! Whoa, that was kind of scary. <laughs> no! Ah. Oh, okay, she's plays evil well. I know, <laughs> Take she it back. Does. <laughs> One oh. engagement party no one's gonna forget. She belongs to me now. In blood. It's unbreakable. I want to see you suffer. Poor unfortunate soul. Poor unfortunate soul. It's mine now. Wow. So all of his power is in the... Oh my god. He's turning into the little wormy thing. Little, little, little tiny thing, yeah. yeah. A little worm. You are powerless against me. You're gonna pay for that. Who would 
Lord, my nigga. How did we get so far down in the water? I don't know. Oh my, they didn't deserve that. She's misunderstood. There's two sides to every story. Holy moly, they did it. This feels Lovecraftian. No! Oh, they were in her hair. Oh my. Damn. That's pretty terrifying. That looks great. She's really doubling down to kill these two. I, I know, right? Oh my. What? What is she doing? Did she the help guide the boat to go? I was thinking, is did she push it up and how? I I don't know. He's not even gonna try to jump out of the way. Oh. Damn, Ursula, your response time is really slow. Well, I mean, when you're tall, you have a slower response. Yeah, that's why basketball players are slow. <laughs> <laughs> She's like giant size. There's a difference, okay? Look, Daddy Trident's back. I didn't fight alone, Father. Eric was with me. All the mothers know is that you're safe and home where you belong. Can I at least get Eric to shore? Yep. Eric's gonna do it all alone. Yep. She did. <laughs> <laughs> I was chasing after a fantasy girl. No, I was wrong. She was very real. And so were your feelings for her. I see that now. It's just that... I really like this, the freaking addition. I did too. <laughs> yeah. I did too. ...to be together. I actually really like almost everything that's been added. <laughs> Fifteen years later. <laughs> <laughs> Eric's married to someone else. He's got children. <laughs> Sees a real abandoned Ditches the whole family. <laughs> she wants a different life that I had planned for her. She did try to tell you. But I won't be able to protect her anymore. It looks weird about shore. He doesn't have the blurring effect as the water <laughs> provides. Then there's just one problem left. How much I'm going to miss my little one. Oh. Oh, he's crying. Yeah, it's pretty sad. Oh. Ah, that's some touching crap right there. <laughs> oh. Oh, so sweet. S beat. <laughs> Wait till you meet your father in law. <laughs> <laughs> your marriage marks a new beginning for us. A beginning. The royalty trades we can conduct <laughs> later on. <laughs> Something you almost lost. What? Where? Where is it? You're sitting on it, bird. Oh. Keep her from me. I hope she causes you less trouble than I did. You won't be gone too long. Will you, Ariel? Oh, that's right. She loses her best friend. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You shouldn't have had to give up your voice to be heard. But now I am listening, and I will always be here for you. Damn, look at that cut one. Where's that crazy guy? All xenophobia has been destroyed.
<laughs> yep, there you go. New lyrics by. <laughs> New lyrics by. All right. Okay. Okay. You know what I was thinking? Man, we kind of like we commented a lot during the movie. What I was thinking though of what I why I liked Haley Bailey's performance so much, especially underwater, is when she interacts with the other animals. Mm-hmm. Is there another word for underwater animals? Uh. Sea life? Sea life. When she interacts with the sea life, it feels like she's really interacting with another character. Mm-hmm. She's not just like, hey, I'm pretending like I'm talking to a green screen thing right now or a yeah. tennis ball. It really seems like she's she's having a real scene. So the, there's like a genuineness to it. And I thought I thought she was um I thought she was perfect. What did you think? I thought I think all of the characters are perfect, honestly. I don't think anyone was like miscast or didn't fit their roles. Um, yeah, I really loved her performance. Her emotion behind a lot of the songs, I feel, was something that isn't really portrayed in something animated mm-hmm. because you don't get that emotion on a face. Um, and even Javier Bardem's performance, I feel like I buy the father-daughter role here, I'm more connected to it, even though I don't have a great relationship with my dad. (laughs) I'm more emotionally connected to it than in the animated film. I think all of the relationships are fleshed out better here than in the animated film. That's fair. That's fair. It's also, what, much longer than the animated film, though, right? Yeah. So uh, they had more time. I mean... These off Look, guys. I know. You, I know. People say there's there's always those inevitable comments where people someone's going to come in and be like, "You should just look at it on its own without comparing it to the animated movie." But that's impossible. That's a big ask that you are asking of someone yeah. to like completely eliminate something you've watched repetitively throughout your childhood. <laughs> and, well, that's and a staple when of your childhood well, when yeah. they have like adapted so much of it, like scene to scene. <laughs> it's, it's impossible yeah. to do that. I don't um, think this replaces the animated film. I feel like if I ever have a child, I I show them the animated film first before I show them this because I am so deeply connected to the animated film from my childhood. Uh-huh. Um, I, it's, you're going to get the comparisons. It's, you can't look at it as it's on. It's the same story. It's the same story. Like, and a lot of it's shot for shot. Yeah. It's the same story. So, yeah. Because uh, and, and, they're, they're adapting the animated movie. Jodie and- Benson. That's the original Ariel. And I just saw her. Okay. Jodie Benson. I kept saying Amy or Ashley. It's Jodie Benson. I... I, I agree. I think there's there. I was the thing that surprised me was there are some things that I I, I actually thought they did better, like with, yeah, with certain relationships. I do think it's still a little too long. In my, I think it's a li- it goes on a little too long. There's when he's out by the sea, and I thought he was looking at Vanessa. That's when I started feeling the length. At one point, I almost looked at June said, "I feel like this is running a little." Yeah, long. it goes a little too long, yeah. and uh, I I don't. And while I find like Sebastian cute. And like, I think the designs of them are cute. And I, and Aquafina surprised me. I, I'm she, there's something about Aquafina where every time she shows up in something, I like her a lot, but for some reason, my initial, uh, preconceived, is that like, you're not gonna is like that I'm going to hate her for yeah. some reason, but every time she shows up in anything, I'm always like, she's great. And it's, there's another case of that where I'm like, I, I don't know why I doubt that I'm going to enjoy her performances because yeah, I thought she was excellent. I, I like how she, she played it more aloof than, uh, even the animated version, I still, the thing is I, I with the animated version, I, I prefer the, it's kind of hard because it's an animated movie. I've, and it, and again, this is my first time watching this movie versus repetitively watching <laughs> the animated movie. The, 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 anim, the, the sea life and the animals are, I like significantly more in the animated version. And, uh, like, like Sebastian, in him as a character of Sebastian, I like more, I feel more of that energy. Interesting. I like Sebastian better here, but really, yeah. What? That shocks me. (laughs) I prefer Flounder in the animated film. He's more. Oh, a thousand percent. I don't think that there's no disputing that. And I prefer Scuttle. If you prefer, if you prefer Flounder in the in this, I don't. I have no idea. I can't even see an argument for that. Yeah. Because he's like 
that relationship feels almost non-existent here. I feel like Sebastian has more um, relatable qualities here than the animated crap. Mm. <laughs> How well do you remember Sebastian? Because I remember Sebastian... He's more of like, um, from how I remember it, you've seen the movie, the animated film, more recently than I have. I mean, I, I, I've known it really well, and then I saw it a, a few months ago, yeah, before the one of the trailers came yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Um, whereas, I, I remember Sebastian being kind of like, really staunch on the rules, like, uh, don't do this. He was kind of more, he wasn't as lenient as the Sebastian here, if that makes sense. Still- That's what I remember. I think I think I still have more of a connect because of the fact that it's animated. They allow more expression and teeth and stuff. And I thought he was really funny in the animated. So yeah, I still, I think my because yeah, I mean, it's, he's he's significantly more fresh and mm-hmm. he's kind of like an iconic side character to me. Yeah. Well, they so, yeah. cut out one of the most iconic scenes from the film with Sebastian, which was the chef scene. Yeah. Yeah. So I I have I have that preference there, and I'm just getting the comparison stuff out of the way. And, uh, yeah, I mean, like, there's not too, it's, t- it's tough because it's such a different medium that I, there's, there, there feels like just because of the nature of what we do that you, you have to pick, but I, I'm not. No, I, 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 there, I just go, the one's different. And then here's what I like. And here's what I don't like. I, I like, I was surprised by how much I actually enjoyed this because I love the first trailer yeah. and the second trailer I did not like. And then this tr- this movie was oh this is actually really enjoyable. <laughs> Take the animated film out of it. This on its own standalone is a good film. They do manage to make it their own as yeah. well without it just being one of those only solely just a one to one adaptation. That they I thought they added enough, and then the way they adapted the the sequences that w- were directly from the animated movie. I feel like they did add their own flavor around it and the performances didn't feel just derivative of them. Like Like trying to copy paste. Yeah. I think Javier Bardem especially does a very different Trident. Um, and and Haley Bailey. Trident. King Trident. Trident. I've been saying Trident my whole life. (laughs) Trident is staff. I thought him and the staff were the same name. No. No? Okay. King Triton and his (laughs) Trident. But they were the I same day. Um, no. <laughs> yeah, because you know it, the the regal qualities of of the animated version are like hum, hum, it's King Trident, you know, and and every time he's on screen and and there's there's more of a of a pizzazz or something yeah. to the to the because it's animated they could do a lot more with a limited with a limited runtime. Mm-hmm. Where here they needed stuff to breathe more to get the believability down, you know. Like all of those scenes that are added between Eric and Ariel, uh, f- I feel like are necessary to the mm-hmm. film. Like you, I buy into their relationship much more. Whereas in an animated film, that quick fall in love thing is more believable in an animated film than it is in a live action film. Yes, but because of the runtime, the excitement and the the peril of the stuff in the finale, actually to me, yeah. Feels a little bit diluted. I agree. Here. I agree. Because it, it, even, even though the, the anime movie is like significantly shorter, when Ursula takes over uh, in the human form, I feel like for some reason in the anime movie, the, it probably doesn't, but it feels like it, it lasts longer. And it feels like it's just such an impact where here it felt like she took over for like five minutes, <laughs> like 10 minutes, you and know? And then you don't even see the impact really. Triton, what? disappears but he's not turned into like the little worm we don't see him yeah. in like the cage and and you know his struggle there um it's a real quick turnaround where he's suddenly back again yeah exactly and and it's and like i said in the animated movie i mean it's it, for all for all we know it's probably the same amount of runtime but the effect still manages to have much more of an impact and a punch because of that movie's shorter runtime and the energy and the pacing, how much they could do a lot more with a little runtime because animated, they can rely more on the emotion being conveyed with visual expression uh, than, than here. So yeah, because of the way this movie's paced, by the time you get to these parts that actually feels rushed and, and the, it, the weight of it feels like kind of, kind of dimmed down. 
Um, cause it's like, yeah, they were barely, he was barely if you, here because of the runtime. It feels like Treadham was barely gone. You know, he's gone for like a few minutes. His sacrifice only lasted a few minutes. Yeah. Um, Ursula taking over in the human form was only a few minutes where before it was like, wow, it really feels like all is lost and Ariel can't conquer this. <laughs> so yeah, it did feel rushed there. And the, but, but really, you know, um, I was surprised by how much I really loved the the relationships with everyone. I do actually, I gotta say, like I, I I like I think I like Ariel and Eric here more. You know, I do too. I love the cartoony performance of Eric, that classic classic prince. Yeah. You know, that classic charming prince. But their relationship here was significantly more nuanced. And I have to say, as someone who I feel like Disney movies and a lot of animated films are trying to take out that. How do I word this in a politically correct way? <laughs> Are trying to take out that romance factor where, oh, the woman only cares about falling in love and true love's kiss. I actually like that they really leaned heavy into the romance factor here and that they are true love and end game and meant to be instead of um, like, oh, she figures it out on her own and didn't need Eric to kind of save yeah. the day type of deal. I agree. Well, in the animated movie, you know, it's it kind of is like they're both just so freaking perfectly hot. <laughs> and look at him. And they look at her. They fall in love. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know? Yeah. We're here. You watch the relationship develop. Yeah. And you really get to see how without I mean, he gets to communicate, but through the, <laughs> but there's ways of where the communication is obviously um, uh, limited, but you still get to see how they get a bond with each other. You know? Even though the words are limited, the interactions, the body language, yeah. and the the facial expressions are so deeper here. Yeah, I think for the human, for the I think yeah, the, for the adaptation of the human stuff, a lot of that works better. Yeah. Um, I and, mean that's gonna be. I mean, pretty, it, that's it, pretty normal. Yeah, <laughs> and so, and and they, it had a but reason like other than like the last half hour where I thought the pacing was kind of like dipping a little bit, I, I feel like the movie was actually paced really well. Yeah. Um, it was really fun. Like I, like we have a counter here cause we're recording a bunch of equipment stuff. And then by the time I got to the hour part, I was like, Oh wow, we're an hour. Like I, I didn't realize how much time had gone by. And, and I th- normally, if I see that counter, I'm, I'm like, man, we still got this much time to go. The <laughs> but, only but time I, I look down at it is for that scene. I was telling you that I started feeling, it felt like it was running long and I looked down and I was like, Oh, well, okay. Yeah. That was like, it was after two hours at that point, but I was like, that's when yeah. I felt the the length of the film and the visuals is, I th- I like what they did here more than the choice with Lion King where they went just like uh, photo completely photorealistic in mm-hmm. Lion King. They, they I thought they had a decent splice of animated meets photorealistic, mm-hmm. you know, allowing for Sebastian to be more expressive with his eyes at mm-hmm. least, and Scuttler. Even Scuttle. Flounder, Scuttle, and Flounder. Terrible with names, you know this. I know. And uh, Flounder. <laughs> uh, Just watch the movie. I though. still will butcher it, I promise. I will still call her Ariel. And, um, yeah, I thought all that was really rock solid. And, and the musical number. What do you think of the musical? I mean, the mu- the actual music numbers were, were as great as always. I think Haley Bailey's voice is yeah, absolutely phenomenal, as we clearly stated while watching this. But what do you think of the new... The new ones, I don't feel a lot of them. I don't feel are necessary, except for Ariel's. <laughs> I feel like all of her new ones are, are fairly necessary. But like, I don't care about Prince Eric's singing part. Really, I don't. Um, and I didn't like the Scuttlebutt song because it's just so... With the tone of the movie and the other songs that are in the movie, even the newer songs, it, it was super out of place to me. So it kind of took me out of it a little bit. And I'm like, of course you're gonna have Aquafina uh, rap. I can't, I can't, Gosh. I cannot disagree with you because you're scared all, of me. All I'll say is, <laughs> no, I will say, I was just like, I don't know, like this is so odd, and it feels, it feels a little out of place. But I don't know, for some reason, I'm enjoying. I think it's just because I like Lemon Well Miranda. And I think Disney obviously loves Le Manuel Miranda because they're like, "Hey, Lynn, we got a new movie. <laughs> Want to do it again and do that but thing you do?" But it becomes a problem when it when the song comes on and you're like, "This is obviously Lin Manuel Miranda's yeah. song." That yeah, that no, it, it took, should it should it, organically fit into the movie. It took it took a few sentences to be like, "This sounds exactly like what Le Manuel Miranda does." Yeah. <laughs> like every single time. 
Um, yeah, no, it didn't feel like his most inventive one. I, I still, yeah, I mean, I, uh, I, I'm a bit, I have a bit of a dichotomy when it comes to the, uh, the one with her inner voice singing stuff, because I like, you like the scuttlebutt song. (laughs) Yeah, no color be weird. Uh, I like the. I, no, I like the I like the song itself. That's the thing is I like the song itself. I think though for the context of the movie, I I really it, it pulls me out because I want to just be in the perspective of she cannot speak. But even people who, let's say, I had some vocal cord malfunction right now. I know what I sound like. Judo chop. <laughs> I know what I sound like, and I think my thoughts in my voice. Of course, no, I get, I get what you're saying. Like, I, I think there's an argument to be made, like what you're saying, uh, of how you can still justify it, and and I totally see the choice for that. To me, though, it, I just, I feel like the impact is not as strong. That's just my opinion, and you know, you have your opinion, which I'm sure most people probably agree with you. You'd be surprised, especially <laughs> with your audience. <laughs> Uh, the Eric song was, uh, yeah, I was like, eh, I feel like I could have just used dialogue here. Yeah, I didn't yeah. like it. I didn't think we needed. The, I didn't think we needed a whole song. He's yeah. got a nice voice. Um, I don't think we needed a whole song though. And I, yeah, I liked Eric's performance a lot, and I think they made him a little bit more. You know, he's he's a lot more swashbuckling in the animated movie, and here he's more of a relatable guy. And I thought to also make them their his backstory somehow be relatable i feel yeah. so sorry for this princess and prince uh, <laughs> to, to make their poor life. those poor guys these royalty struggles uh, but i love the but i thought they made it um just to make their backgrounds find a way to truly find a common ground and similarities where they could identify with each other i thought was really strong the addition of the mom i thought was great uh, as well i like it but i also don't like i feel like it's just such a trope a cliche of our worlds don't belong together. But I, and I'm like, oh, it's just such a trope. It was, it's just such a cliche decision to go with. But it doesn't take me out of the film. Yeah, it's something I would like to see not be the fallback for a lot of films, which I feel like it is. I think the anime movie is like a solid, tight film. Like it's like only like 80 minutes long. That's the animated one. Who's is this? Um, it's Terror Roxy. It's one of the two. They leave shit all the time. Tara Roxy, we're gonna have a discussion tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm always leave shit behind. Um, then there's that. What, what's the other? Some of missing. Melissa McCarthy. She disappears totally at the end too, though. Like she's defeated, and you don't really see. That's the animated movie. <laughs> well, I feel like there should be some impact from what she's done, you know, but. Especially with the long runtime you have, you could have included something. And I'm so used to Disney now, the these days, humanizing their villains a little more. Like what they did with um, Maleficent. You know, they, they tend to try to humanize to make you feel a little bit more. They don't do that at all here with Ursula. No, I, I thought to keep her, though, the animated one, I think Melissa McCarthy really saves it. Because she managed to, because I thought it would be the most cartoony performance, mm-hmm. and, and it and arguably is out of the human race. Yeah. Like it, it is. Um, it's the yet she the can- s- most campy out of all of them. Yeah, she still managed to not pull. Like I didn't get pulled out by no. her. I got more pulled in because of her. She's and super engaging. Yeah, because I thought she was going to be like way too animated <laughs> in her in her expressions and stuff. I thought she was going to overdo it. And I thought she was going to bring too much of that Melissa. Because when we heard she was cast, we're like, of course, of course, Melissa McCarthy's playing her. Like, it was just like the most obvious casting. It, and despite it being obvious casting, she still managed to honor the animated version and really bring her own staple to it. And she, there was something really unique. Um, I got to let her in. Tara? Yeah. I can let her in from the, my phone. All right. Do it. Yo. We're letting you in. You, we're going to tell you when it's unlocked. Oh, okay. Is yeah. it unlocked? Oh, yeah. It's, Come it's on in. Nice. We're just filming this thing. We could just stand oh. up to go get you. <laughs> we need to determine if this hair clip is yours or Roxy's. Are you the one that's leaving behind little hair clips with my Watch husband? Watch the swearing. Hell no. I'm not that bored. I wouldn't let you 
Okay, there's Roxy's <laughs> name to our detective advice and <laughs> narrowed it down. <laughs> she leaves like cups. <laughs> People always leave crap behind. Koi left a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he shirtless in here? Yeah, right. Ask me how that happened. <laughs> oh yeah, so Melissa McCarthy. So there was something about her. Exp I kept. I couldn't quite pinpoint it. Like, like she kept this like cold stare, uh, like mouth above, and 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 didn't emote much here, which I thought g weirdly grounded the performance in this I think large. The makeup election. helps with that, though. Yeah, it was like she got overly Botox or something, yeah. and, the, and that she couldn't emote or something. But it worked. It it helped. It and it, it plays to that like um uh what is that word? The the word for like that person who's that old time starlet who like used to be used to be the successful Hollywood starlet and then they're now like I'm ready for my close up, Miss. Oh Miller. yeah, yeah, yeah. That, Mr. Deville type of deal. Yeah, like, she's like that kind of character. The faded like two golden Hollywood actress. Yeah, exactly. The faded star. And that's the kind of performance that she leaned into mm -hmm. here, which I thought was so excellent. Um, yeah. yeah, that was perfect. Uh, yeah, visual yeah, effects I, were good. I love this movie. I think it's really good. I think I, it's fun. I liked it a lot. Me too. I love it. Yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah, that's a good movie. I'd watch it again. Yeah, I would too. We own it now, so <laughs> yeah. Cool. <laughs> you can watch it whatever you want. <laughs> Couldn't wait to Disney Plus, but that's fine. <laughs> nope, not for them. I will buy it, and I, I gotta say too, yeah. Like uh, for uh, the last thing I'll say, intentionally, with everything going on, that this is the like oftentimes these live action remakes get a lot of crap for just the like just like essentially just aping the script that came before and i think that for an adaptation script they did a really great job here uh to to, to adapt it i thought the writing actually did a really su surprisingly good job uh, a lot of times you just feel like hack jobs and this did not feel that way to me that was good acting's good so i got paid them fairly mother effers anywho you done yeah you guys want to buy a cat not this one. Not these, <laughs> but there's a, I, don't, I mean, they don't have to buy, right? Is it, is it a buy? Is there, what's there's a, what's an it? adoption fee, yeah, of it's course. It's an adoption fee, yeah, like how we've so adopted. So what, people can just get free cats and feed them to their dogs or their snakes? Who feeds cats to their dogs? People do that? Yes, as they use them as like bait for like fighting dogs. Mm. Yeah. So That's you horrible. pay a fee. That's horrible. Yeah. All right, guys, well, we're going to watch Avatar The Way of Water and Aquaman now. <laughs> I will talk with you guys soon. Thank you so much for being here.